I'm worried about her. She's alone. Molly Johnson grew up out here. She knows the way. I'm just a drover's wife. But cross me and I'll kill you. I'll shoot you where you stand and I'll bury you where you fall. <laughs> With this film, The Legend of Molly Johnson, how do you think people will see Australia differently? I I guess they'll see our history being a truth teller and with the Indigenous component of the film. It is our colonial past. It is the truth. Uh, Yataka is based on my great grandfather. Yeah. I actually use diaries that were written about my grandfather to get the atmosphere of society around that time, the, the, the views towards Aboriginal people and, their, uh, and women in general. Um, so it was all, um, it was like a based on a factual fiction, you know, I, I based it on facts. I, I, I applied my own family's story and then I, of course, fictionalised it. And I just hope that it brings about conversation. I want I want people to question. I want people to um, sit down and debate. You know, there's some storylines. that I, I, I'm a writer that leaves some things open because I want people to discuss. Welcome to Everton. Little more than you bargained for. Walking straight into a murder investigation. Six people dead. Probably a Narago man, sir. Talk about the inspiration for this movie. It's based on a short story, The Drover's Wife by Henry Lawson, that I believe your mother read to you when you were a child. It was a story that I, as a five-year-old, used my imagination and put myself and my mother in her situation because mm. it was similar. There was no father figure around. My mother's Aboriginal. My father's white. He wasn't around. It was just me and her. We lived on the outskirts of the town or the last street in the town and we had a combustion stove and she could swing an axe and she taught me how to, you know, um, split the logs to chips and to stack a wood heap. So she would say, don't stack it, holler, or the snakes would get in, in under. So when those words in our, our life, sort of was harping back to the story that she'd tell me or recite to me, I, my imagination would run wild. And I was her protector. I was that little boy in Henry Lawson's story and she was the drover's wife. State your business. A drive with Joe. So this drove he didn't show. First time in eight years. You're a good man. Come with me. Did you believe her? Molly Johnson. Her husband waving his hat at seeing the children. Somehow it didn't ring true. I think what's incredible about this film is even though it's set in the past, there are things that are still so relevant, especially about domestic abuse. Molly Johnson was dealing with that in 1893 and we have women probably today dealing with that and nothing has been changed really. So, you know, um, I'm, I'm glad I went with it. It was important to me. I am a truth teller for women as well. I want to tell our stories truthfully and I hope that I give strength to someone through it. Do you think it's a good time or at least a better time for Indigenous filmmakers at the moment? I think, I think it's a very exciting time in Australia um, where we are looking at our diversity and gender equality and um, it's about time because I think it can only enrich the experience of the viewers mm. and to get our stories out there. And, you know, when you listen to someone's story or you or you experience it at the cinema, you know, it brings about an understanding. You're not quick to judge someone. So I think the arts is working at its best at the moment in, in helping nations understand one another and bring, a, bring around, you know, bring about tolerance in who we are as a people. My children need me. They need their mother. 